Hi, I'm Mr. Campbell. Today we're going to look at finding and fixing simple errors in our code. Here I am in the Python shell, Python's interactive mode. Many integrated development environments have line numbers next to the code. Idle doesn't. However, it does indicate the line number by keeping track of where your cursor is in the bottom right hand corner of the window, here. So, if I put my cursor next to the P of Python in the top left hand corner of the window, down in the bottom right hand corner it says line 1, column 0. If I move it down with my arrow key it goes to line 2. If I move it down again it goes to line 3, column naught. A column is one character or space wide. The columns are going across column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and if I move to the beginning of the entry point, it's at line 4, column 4. Let's type something in. This works fine. Now we will look at a few errors that we all make from time to time. Let's copy that code and remove the final speech mark. When we run this, we get a syntax error. Idle helpfully tells us it is an EOL error. EOL stands for end of line. Idle also highlights the line where it came across the error, making it much easier to find. There is a final clue. Idle has a feature called syntax highlighting, which highlights strings, for example, in green. When we do not close speech marks, the green highlighting does not finish. So let's copy that down and correct the error. Another common error everyone makes at some time is to forget the brackets. This also produces a syntax error. Notice how the line where the problem occurred is still indicated, albeit not very obviously. It's more interesting if we forget to close the brackets. Now, when we press return, no error appears at all. The cursor appears at an indent point. This is because idle thinks we have not finished supplying arguments to the print function like this. However, what we intended to do was close the brackets. Let's now work in script mode. Here is a very small program called greeting.py. This is what it does when I run it. It prints hello to the Python shell. Let's try forgetting to close the speech marks. This is the same as in interactive mode. What if instead we forget to close the brackets? Now we again have a syntax error, but the red highlighting would appear to be in the wrong place. In fact, it is where idle noticed the problem. The error is produced by the missing bracket immediately preceding this on line 2. Let's fix this now. Sometimes when we create a function, we give it one name and later forget it. We then call the function by the wrong name. Let's see what this does. In the Python shell, we get another error message. It tells us it had a problem on line 4. My function, it tells us, is not defined. This is because I defined a function called my cool function, not my function. To fix it, I need to make the two names the same.
Now I'm going to make a more useful function that takes a string as an argument and then prints it. Here I'm creating a variable called s and assigning it the string hello. When I run this, I get another error. Idle tells me that on line 5, my function needs to supply an argument. Although I assigned hello to s, I forgot to add s as an argument to my function. Let's fix that. In this video, I have demonstrated some of the more common errors that we all make. I hope I've shown how IDLE can help you quickly find and fix them.